Once again, it's TJ's Rehab, where I rehabilitate my addiction to bad toys with some of my favorites from my collection. And today, in honor of Talk Like a Pirate Day, a day late, oh, okay, I thought of this at like 11 p.m. last night, give me a break here, at least I tried. But in honor of the day, we are reviewing Web Diver Galleon, or Garyun, depending on how you're reading the title. There's actually two different names to this figure, because Galleon... Uh, that's a more proper English translation of his name, and it's obvious uh, he's a galleon. So you do get a bit of reference to that. It also has the O-N naming scheme that all web diver figures have, like the Gradion figure I reviewed before. That's a constant. Or, if you want to be a little bit more literal with your translation and the Romanji, it is pronounced Gaoryun, and that references the Ryu, which is dra Japanese for dragon. Yeah, pretty obvious where they got that one, too. So, two different translations, two completely different names, two completely different references. It's an extremely clever name that I quite enjoy. And speaking of enjoy, look at this. Look how beautiful this figure is. This might be one of the most artistic transforming toys in my entire collection. This is probably one that you've seen a lot of pictures online of and probably never really had any context as to what it was. It is one of the primary figures from the Web Diver toy line that tried to replace Transformers and utterly failed. And I might cover why in just a bit. But let's enjoy the toy for what it is. Obviously, it is an old-fashioned pirate ship. And the... Oh my god, the sculpt on this thing is beautiful. I mean, you've got the individual wood tot, wooden planks here. All this intricate detail, all these little things. You, it's very, very typical of a pirate ship. The rear is what really catches me. And you've got the gold ornamentation, which is so nice. And then you've got this dirty yellow plastic making up the windows. Looks very, very old really sets the toy off. Really, really drives on the back. This is a grand pirate ship. Now, you've got some awesome details up top, too. There is the skull and crossbones, a very robotic-looking skull. And up here, instead of a crow's nest, with a beautiful little flame. And more that ornamentation. I mean, that's absolutely gorgeous. The toy itself, I mean, it's limited to what it does here, but it does some nice things. There's some beautiful tricks to this one. See down here, a huge row of cannons here. Each one of these is on an individual ball joint. You can adjust each cannon individually. That is an incredible little detail. Really, really love it. And you've also got harpoons here at the bottom. They're not spring-loaded. It's pressure launch, which means it pushes off a ball joint inside. They don't go all that far, as you can tell by that pitiful little shot. Yeah, if you push the button harder, they'll shoot a little farther. It's mostly because of how low it is, but then again, a pirate ship with torpedoes is too awesome. And so you can actually keep this figure standing up in vehicle mode. You've got these little dragon legs on the bottom, which is a cute little touch. It's kind of upside down for a transforming figure. I mean, usually all the robot stuff is crammed on the bottom. Here it's kind of crammed in on the top, so it's a little unsightly from above. But, I don't know, you sacrifice it on any figure, I get one of the drawbacks here. You might have noticed a little of this is kind of wonky, and if I go from the rear, you can kind of tell. Yeah, the tail's off-center. Unfortunately, mine has a, a misassembly in one of the ratchet joints that kind of throws everything off. I don't know if that is common, I don't know if it's just my bad luck, but it kind of detracts from it, but, you know, mm -mm. The toy is worth ignoring it, in my opinion. There's some craftsmanship going on here. It's rare that I can appreciate just how beautifully done a figure is. I mean, right down to the dragon details. I have no idea what pirate ship would have a massive dragon tail sticking out of the rear. But I can often see one with something like this at the bow, again with a gold ornamentation. It's a very regal looking ship. It really does look like there's a serpent going all the way through the, through the ship. Is just such a great touch. 
but that's only half the fun, of course, because it transforms. First, make sure the little dragon legs are folded up on the underside. Then split the underside completely off. It's pretty tight, so you gotta fiddle with it. Next, open up the front, and now unpeg the top from the sides, fold them up, and all the way. Now, pull out the arms, move them to the side, rotate the underside all the way around, and fold out the legs. Open up the feet, and then remove the tail spine. Nasty. Unpeg the mast and sail, rotate it all the way around, then fold it up across his back, finishing by pegging it up at the top. Open up the claws, adjust the arms as needed, unfold the neck, and rotate it around. Now on to robot mode, if you can call it that, because this is one of the coolest looking dragons I've ever seen as a transforming toy. And it's not even his alt mode, go figure. Now he keeps the pirate theme very well in the one and especially in the detail I have neglected to show off. The eye patch! Oh my god, he's got an eye patch. I freaking love that. You got a dragon with an eye patch. That's hilarious. But you can really tell how much detail went into this thing. I mean my I mean obviously the biggest one is that chest armor. Again with the eye patch. Gorgeous looking two-tone, just fading from gold to silver into the teeth and fangs. That is very menacing body armor. Also with the shoulder guards that, that are formed from the sides of the vehicle. You can still see the, the uh, translucent yellow there. And it makes for very, very intimidating looking shoulder pads right into the cape. I mean, look at that. I mean, this just flows beautifully. I mean, that it's the cape's in the perfect position right there just to make him look really imposing and almost regal. He wasn't a pirate, I, I could call him that anyway. It's just so well done. I mean, it's a brilliant way to deal with the kibble. Absolutely brilliant. And speaking of kibble, if we go to the vehicle modes kibble, you got the dragon tail back here. Folds up nicely, but you can extend it out if you want to have a more natural look to it. It's just easier to store away this with it folded up. The toy itself has tons of articulation. I mean, you've got the rotation in the neck. You've also got two different neck joints and the mouth that can move up and down on both jaws, though the top jaw doesn't do it quite as well. Everything's ratcheted. Everything. And it's really tight ratchets, too. You've got bicep swivel, elbows also ratcheted, wrists, and individual claws all three fingers on each hand move independently from each other so you can come up with some very menacing looking little poses thanks to that one little detail alone now unfortunately you sacrifice waist articulation because of how it dealt with the mast you also have full leg articulation down here the hips don't go out any farther than that you've got rotation a double knee joint always great and ball jointed uh, ankles here so you can swivel it around you can move the claws in and out whatever you really need to do to get the pose you want now because of said misassembly on mine again I don't know if yours will be the same mileage may vary uh, I kinda have to keep them like this in order to keep them standing and he doesn't look bad at all that way so it's really not that much of a turnoff You've got a lot more ornamentation in this one, from little bits of detail on the shoulders down here to the boots, keeping very, very closely to the uh, <clears throat> Grand Pirate theme. He just pulls it off so well. And you've got a ton of little features on him, too. Uh, you got a button on his back, lighting it up. Not only do you get an emblem lighting up on the skull, which uh, it's a little hard to see even if it wasn't on camera. Better than that, you've got the light up mouth and dragon eye. So you can spit some flames out. No sound effect to go with it, which is good or bad depending on your feelings about sound effects. He's also got some very nice accessories to go with him. 
the bottom of the ship. Yeah, his biggest chunk of leftover kibble. It's not really a cheat. It forms a very formidable shield. Thankfully, these hands are very tight. I mean, these, these fingers really do clamp down. So he can hold on to the shield pretty well, despite its weight. So it's very secure, even if his legs are not. Again, probably just mine. You also saw the tailpiece I pulled off. That becomes a very, very dangerous looking cutlass. He can grab onto uh, as a signature pirate weapon, looking extremely dangerous here. I love the ornamentation on this too. I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it out on this video. I will try. But you can see these lovely little techno details that slowly move up and eventually turn into the flames on top. It is a gorgeous little touch. They really went the extra mile to make this figure look as cool as possible. The sword is the soft bendy plastic, so if you leave it in position a little too long, you could have some warpage. So that is unfortunate. Now, if I could hook it up to the TV, uh, I could demonstrate his functionality with Gradion, the video game based uh, transformer that's the core of the whole line. He forms this kind of defensive shield mode and if, when he hit the button it sends an IR signal from the opposite eye on his chest into the toy in order to change the gameplay. He gets like this big blaster shield thing in the game. I can't hook it up and most likely you will never own a toy as expensive as Gradion so we will just leave it off at that. Overall it is such a magnificent toy. I mean really a pirate ship that turns into a pirate dragon. Do you honestly get any cooler than that? I mean, if you're if you're going for pirate versus ninja, there's no ninja in the world that can compete with this thing. <sighs> okay, so I'm passionate about my pirate dragons. All right, sue me. That is web diver Galleon or Garyun, whichever you feel like that day. For talk like a pirate day, day late. Uh, thank you for watching.